Hey there folks, this is Big Doug Outdoors here. Today I just wanted to show you guys a little tip or maybe a little idea um, or if you want to call it a DIY thing, project, on saving you a little bit of money. I mean, it ain't going to save you a whole lot, but it's going to help you out there. Uh, and that is going to be with slip floats, like something similar to this. Um, when you buy these, usually, because uh, this one's a slip float, it's like a three-in-one or something like that, you can turn it into a slip float this way, where you can take it off and on, or you can turn it into where it just hooks onto your string and wrap it around to where you can adjust it up without using a slip knot. Uh, but anyways, um, they, these here are normally like a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty a piece. And I caught them on sale for around 60 cents and I ended up buying all of them, which was about six of them. But um, I'm not too thrilled with them. I mean, uh, especially around right now with the uh, crappie being finicky about biting and stuff. So you, uh, if it's too heavy, they feel any weight. Sometimes the uh, crappie will just leave it alone, won't even mess with it. So that's why I like using these little floats like this and it is less weightless you can add some little bit of a split shot right there uh, onto your line so that way it'll add a little extra weight where to pull it down and you just use a little jig like here like this one here i got on here the little jig head with a little fuzzy tail or you won't call them enough sure the name of it but um, i actually found that little jig head laying on the ground and i picked it up but you can use that stuff out there and you know i mean you can use let me find one here let's see it. you can even take these here is what i'm looking for a little float like this one turned into a slip float you just pull that again that little little uh wire whatever you want to call it straighten it out pull that off and glue this back down in there to pull the spring and stuff out and you can turn that into a slip float i mean it's really easy i mean like i said with these here they were like 10 cents a piece and i ended up buying a dozen of them i think it was either a dozen whatever it was it, it was like a dozen or whatever but um they work out really good for mr crappie uh, slip floats out there and you lose them you're not really that much into them because uh, I know I've got some floats in here that are really expensive kind of like this one here the design uh, this one actually is for using uh, for crappie because it's spring loaded as you can see there I'll show you this way upside down it's spring loaded uh, it's a little slip float. It's supposed to be helped with the tension on it. So that way when it goes down and the crappie's got it, you can see. Uh, but my vision is not that great, so I can't see that at 40 yards away from me uh, when I'm fishing for the shoreline. Uh, but that's mainly the reason why I use slip floats. Uh, it's from a bank or something to help you work it kind of like you would if you were out on a boat jigging it. You know, your bait or your lure down in there. Uh, usually when it's windy, it's really nice to use that that way. Or if it ain't, you'll take it and just twitch it every now and then like this. And what that does is it'll cause that float to kind of skip across the water a little bit. And it'll act like, kind of imitate uh, um, shad hitting the water or something, breaking the water. But anyways, I just want to show you guys that real quick. And I hope this helps you guys out as well. Um, it's really simple and easy little thing. Uh, I like to do I mean you don't have to do it this way if you don't like to use slip floats but that is one thing I um, kind of give you some ideas you can do out there uh, maybe help save you a little bit of money so with that being said I just want to thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel thank you for the ones that have subscribed to my channel thank you for the one um, that uh, has watched my YouTube channel as well and if you haven't, please do so. And also, tell a friend, family, or neighbor as well. This will help me grow my YouTube channel. Um, that is my main objective or goal here in 2021 uh, for my YouTube channel is to grow it. Uh, I want to show you guys my passion out there that I love to do with hunting and fishing and camping. I know here in 2020, it, we didn't have very many times uh, where I did go out and do a little hunting or something. 
but here in 2021 I'm hoping to change that and also do a little bit of camping as well this year uh, so with that being said again I just want to thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel and say God bless and good luck to your upcoming hunting fishing camping here in 2021 we'll catch you till next time